Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at ICT IGCSE Theory Revision Presentation Chapter 9 Know Your Audience. Under that we'll be looking at audience appreciation and copyright and intellectual property. Alright, let's begin. Audience appreciation analyze. Alright, so before you start the presentation, there are two main criteria to consider the purpose of the presentation and the audience of the presentation. People create presentations for many purposes, such as to entertain. All right, all right, let me explain as we move ahead. So the presentation should be uh, about something that all the audience enjoy or are interested in and probably be light about and probably be lighthearted and humorous. It should also contain images and videos to inform the presentation should basically give a clear explanation without distractions such as funny videos or images. It should present the facts in a clear, logical order. Alright, to educate. The audience should leave understanding more about a particular subject than when they entered. This goes way beyond stating facts. You want your audience to learn and you may have to use examples and go into everything to a greater depth. The presenter needs a thorough understanding of the subject. Now, this is really, really, really important. If you are the presenter, you have to really understand the subject before you present. Or else, even though you might just read and present, it might not be that effective. To inspire, motivate, and, uh, and or activate. The presentation should fill the audience with a desire to go out and achieve something. This is just like you watching a motivational video on what YouTube. I mean, you do, right? So once you do, you get that urge to go out there and achieve your dreams, fulfill something. You have that desire to go out and just get it done. That is exactly what you want your presentation to do. It might uh, highlight current hardships and show how the group can overcome them and succeed. Okay, so... Remember that the presentation will be more emotional and may have rousing music and symbols that unite the audience. Remember that, all right? To persuade, all right? This is like really useful. Like this is something you must, your presentation must do when you want to sell a particular uh, product or you want your audience to buy a particular product. The presentation to display whether uh, whatever is being promoted in a good light to display whatever is being promoted in a good light. Yeah, makes sense. All right, moving on. The presenter should consider audience characteristics such as how old they are. Again, let me explain them as we move ahead. Presentations for young children would need to be more to would need to be in a simple language. All right, and fewer words will be uh, and fewer words with more images and videos. And the fact that the read and then oh, sorry sorry. The facts that you'll be presenting should not go beyond their understanding or they may be frustrated and not pay attention to what you are presenting, all right? How much money they have to spend. Okay, this is really important if the presentation is to persuade the viewer to buy something, all right? What gender they are. Is the audience all one gender or are they mixed? Different examples given in the presentation might appeal more to different genders. Next, what is their educational level like? Everyone has a level of education and become frustrated if the information they are presented is way too simple or way too difficult. All right. What is their lifestyle, culture or beliefs? Certain things in a presentation may cause offense to certain groups and a presentation should be respectful to our beliefs. Unless, unless the presentation is intended to shock and cause discussion. But even when this has to be done, you need to consider it very carefully and think over it before you do that. All right. What the audience really, really wants. Has the audience come here to be entertained? Do they want to learn or to improve their education? Have they got problems in their life that the presentation will help them solve? Do you want to be stirred into action? Just like this thing, that this notes that I'm presenting. You want to learn to improve your education in ICT. That is why you are watching the video so far. And if you are so, if, if you have made it so far, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and share it with all your friends. All right, let's move on with that. Copyright and intellectual property. Okay, there are many legal constraints that apply to the use of ICT. We are now going to consider the necessity for copyright legislation. 
All right, for those of you who don't know what legislation is, it's a group of laws about something. All right, intellectual property or IP, it's a unique creative product of the human mind, a design for a new processor, a digital image, or even a piece of music are all examples of intellectual property. These were all definitely created by someone which is unique and has a commercial value. Copying intellectual property without permission is called piracy. Let me explain that further. When you stream a film or a video, part of the payment goes to the people who actually wrote the script or created the music and pictures. They are being paid for their IP or intellectual property so that they can make a living and create more of what they were creating. Without the payment, creation would stop. Alright? Make sense? Let's move it. Okay, four key uh, term, keywords you really need to know and the copyright and intellectual property. This will probably just explain everything that's in your textbook. All right, copyright means that rights that prevent piece of rights that prevent people using a piece of work without the creator or the copyright holder's permission. Makes sense. Like that really makes sense. You don't, you don't really need to do anything more. Software protection: prove that you have paid the owner for the rights to use their software under specific terms and conditions, and is usually agreed when it's purchased. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. License key, a data string that, upon installation, unlocks a software product and makes it available for you. Last but not the least, a dongle is a small device used to be uh, able to be connected uh, to and used with a computer, especially to allow the use of protected software. Oh, that's all? Boom. That's all you really need to know. So, I guess that's it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And till then see you and till then see you in the next video. Tada.